guys good evening guys yeah it's another evening i just arrived from um from work and today i just have this urge or this um i'm craving for uh, mashed potatoes and oven chicken so um these are my potatoes guys i have um peeled them as you can see here they are like 600 grams i peeled them i applied a little bit i washed them and i applied a little bit a, a prise of salt and now it's ready for they are ready for cooking i will switch my my cooker on and then i take some water which i just uh, boiled with water boiler the water is hot so the potatoes you don't have to cook potatoes with a lot of uh, water you know that one is enough and as i told you in my last um in my previous video where i was cooking uh, noodles when i cook food when i cook noodles or i cook potatoes like this just cooking with water i don't throw the water later when the, uh, i mean later when the food is um ready or when the potatoes are cooked are well cooked are soft i don't throw the water away instead i put the water aside and i use it in some other um cooking you know so that water is very healthy i don't throw the water away so guys you have to note that so i'm just going to cook my potatoes till they are soft and then i show you what i'm going to use there uh, in those potatoes the ingredients i mean so guys so that you can make your proper mashed potatoes anytime you wish yeah and um, you will enjoy it guys so we will wait for our potatoes to cook just like 15 minutes and they will be ready so while waiting for the 15 minutes for our potatoes we are going to uh, put our chicken in the oven the chicken is already spiced already and it's um, okay it's already finished so what we are going to do is only to put in the oven remember i told you today i'm going to show you how to cook mashed potatoes i did not say chicken and um, i told you i'm going to teach you how to cook proper or very delicious mashed potatoes and very healthy and that one will go with this chicken you see here and this chicken is already finished i did not spice it i bought it just like this already spiced as you can see and i'm going to put it in the oven for about 25 minutes on a heat of um, 200 degrees so guys the, the the important part is the mashed potatoes it's not the chicken you know remember so i just i preheated my oven already and now it's very hot i'm going to put the chicken inside and um, i time 25 minutes then it will be ready so guys our mashed potatoes are on the way and we will start now preparing our ingredients so i think our potatoes are almost well cooked then we will try to to test whether everything is okay and so we will 
try to look or test whether the potatoes are really well cooked as i said before and um so yeah they are good they are good only one one second but they are almost okay they are almost well cooked i mean so guys um before i start with the potatoes i'm going to show you the ingredients and then i start frying the onions so guys here i have very simple and very few ingredients um of my yeah for my for my mashed potatoes so number one i don't miss onions as you can see here i have two onions not the bigger one but the size okay the normal size i have two of them and then again i have a garlic half of it that these are small garlics the normal small garlics normally there are bigger ones like this this is a bigger um garlic so these are small ones and half of it i'm going to use in my mashed potatoes and then one big spoon of butter or margarine whatever you you use in your country or blue band who um, whoever lives in east africa one big spoon and then again i have a glass of milk and then a piece of white pepper not the black pepper white pepper a piece of course as i said yesterday is you can't measure a piece of salt a piece of pepper something like that is weightless almost weightless it's just with hands so that's when you take something like that with hands like this is a piece so that is a piece of um white pepper and then again a, a vegetable broth which i'm not going to use all of it i'm going to use the half of it i guess in my previous video you saw me using a vegetable broth the jelly one is this one so this is very concentrated with vegetables and is very tasty so instead of oh, oh i okay as i said before instead of using vegetable broth when you don't have in your country or in your nearest supermarket you can use royco that is um or you can use uh, beef cubes whoever knows that whoever lives in uh, east africa knows uh, um what beef cubes are and um, what royco is so please if you don't have vegetable broth you can use one small spoon of royco or one beef cube so that is oh that is those are the ingredients i'm going to use and they are very simple and i guess anyone can can have them in their uh, nearest supermarket or where you buy normally you buy your food so guys i'm going to cut my onions and my garlic and then i start frying here with a little bit oil i forgot to mention oil but i'm not going to say which amount of oil or um um okay as i told you before i use vegetable oil or sunflower oil you can use also olive oil if you want they are here and my spices are all here but i normally use sunflower oil you can use like only one big spoon to fry the the, uh, the your onions or so i just cut the i finished cutting the um, onions and i finished uh, stapling or um, yeah 
my garlic. Of course, with my mortar here, this one I told you I use it. It's natural and it's very, very um, good for that, for that work. So guys, I'm going to use my sunflower oil here. Only one spoon to fry this, um, to fry this, these onions. So the big spoon here. I'm going to use it. So so that is the oil. Of course, as I told you in my previous video, that I have to fry the onions like uh, one minute before I put the garlic. It's because the garlic burns very quickly than the onion. So I have to fry the onion first like one minute and then I put my garlic inside or oh, half a minute. So, I have to put my garlic. Now I will change the spoon to this one. So, I am not going to use a lot of oil to fry this onion because I don't want my... my um, my mashed potatoes having a lot of fat and oil and water few because already I have one big spoon of butter over there so I don't want to use a lot of oil and butter and it will be disgusting you know so as I told you I don't love I don't like oil so much or I don't like fat so much a lot of fat in food I don't like it so it will fry for one minute and then these are our potatoes they are ready and I just uh, poured out the water which is there on this in this cup the water from here which was cooking the uh, potatoes as I told you I don't throw my water away I will use it in another even if I'm not going to use it in these potatoes I will use it in another um, cooking you know it's very healthy so guys that is our onion and it's already fine fried very fine so I'm going to put my milk inside. There's a lot of aroma here. I normally don't like uh, the smell of onions and garlic going in my in my clothes which I'm wearing, you know. Um, yeah. Because I will start um, smelling like I will start having the smell of onions and for a while and I don't like it so that is the the milk inside then we are going to use our um, piece of paper the butter is not going here it's going last to the potatoes direct to the potatoes so we are going to open our um, our vegetable broth and put the amount I told you. Of course, the vegetable broth is jelly-like and it um, it gets um, diluted here very quickly. 
diluted or melted. It melts very quickly in hot, hot substances. So it will melt a line. Oh, sorry, alone. <laughs> that was German language. <laughs> a line. Of course, a line means means alone in English. A line is in German. So I guess it's enough now. It's half of it. The other one will be used in another cooking. Of course, I use that one because I don't have Royco or beef cubes. So I use vegetable broth because it, it tastes, tastes good. Just like um, Royco or like uh, um, beef cubes. And it's healthy too, you know. Because it's um, from uh, it's main made from vegetables. So guys, we are not going to put any salt here because, as I told you before, the veg vegetable broth has a lot of salt inside. So as I told you, I have another instrument here or another kitchen item for stirring.